All right, let's get more on this development. And joining us on the program is the federal lawmaker representing Anambra East and West, Mr. Chinedu Ubidigwe. You're welcome to News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chenel. Thank you, the moderator. All right, so let's... Uh, all right, yes, uh, we, we, of course, uh, from the reports that uh, we saw you there uh, in, in a tour of your constituency to assess the situation. Can you give us an, uh, the latest update uh, uh, on the flooding disaster in a number of east and west local government areas at this moment in time? Uh, I will say first is to thank uh, the Channel TV for coverage. And at the same time, uh, our people, the governor of a number of states, for their timely intervention, we are worst hit by the said flood. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, this is to be compared with 2012 flood, and there's no any other flood that has this kind of devastation effect to our people. Uh, the, the entirely, the whole, almost over 22 communities are totally ravaged by flood. As I'm speaking, the, their houses, their place of worship, their farmland, everything is totally under the water. And the situation is this, a situation, emergency situation of this nature, upon which that I have written to NEMA, we have not seen a single officer of NEMA in that our area up till now. People are living on hunger, if not for the intervention of the state government and the lives of stakeholders like us. So it implies that my own constituency is not more part of Nigeria or what. I am calling on NEMA, I am calling on Ms of humanitarian to come to our aid. Our people are suffering. They don't have a place to go. They are being quartered in camps. You can imagine the situation. Even schools are closed down. And nobody is talking to us. I am a representative of the people. If I didn't speak, I don't see anybody who can say. It's meant for me to speak this way. I was there on my own. I've been there for the past one week. I am at the village, I, I make sure that I'm at my constituency. I make sure that I'm going around seeing them at their various places. And I didn't see anything from them. No rice, no malt, no milk, nothing. I so, have written to them. So, the, the, so the, you're, you're, right, you're painting a rather uh, sad uh, picture now. So, uh, so are you saying that, of course, you, you're saying that you've not gotten any kind of assistance or help from uh, NEMA, but uh, what exactly do you expect at this point uh, from NEMA? Is, as the name implies, National Emergency Management Agency. This is an emergency situation. If not for anything, there should be a kind of relief materials to the people. Whatever, when I called the state summer secretary, he told me that they brought about, um, let's say, 1,000 bags of rice. To how many people? To how many people do I bring 1,000 bags of rice? What I'm just saying here is that for the past two weeks, this situation has been on board. Get it to one month now. Where are the National Assembly? We know the budget of NEMA. We know why that budget was that. So they, 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 we do all those budgets for them, for them to handle situations like this. Apart from calling for them to bring the lead material, Nigeria as a country, our own nation, should do something urgent to avert this kind of ugly incidents. One is to dredge the lower Anambra River Beijing river basin, and also the river Lokoja and all other tributaries. The other one is to create a dam, construct a dam. If Cameroon opens their own dam, so that we can have something to cushion up with. The effect. I remember that according to his, what I read, they said in 19 something, around 980 something or 70 something, when Cameroon was constructing their own dam, they wrote to Nigeria to have a kind of buffer zone, which is also to create their own dam, so that whenever they release their own, they are, our own can withstand the effects more. Then that we can release gradually in order to avoid the devastation, devastation effect we are witnessing today. You cannot quantify the quantum of damage, the quantum of irreparable loss to the cost of consulting a dam. 
or dredging Anambra River? How will we say that untold hardship every year will be falling on innocent Nigerians from Lokoja down to Anambra, Enugu, Kogi, everywhere? Bias go down. So, so, so a, a disaster that is avoidable. Now, very quickly now, as, as a lawmaker representing that area, what efforts were actually put in place to warn people of this uh, impending disaster? There's, 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 well, no matter the warning, these are areas, these are places of places where they are community, where they were born. From time earlier in 1990s, 70s, 80s, they have lived all their life there. You cannot, you cannot say, ah, okay, all of you go out, because there's a flood that is coming. Whereas that flood, that anticipating flood, has a solution. Why can't we offer that solution as a country? All right, uh, of course, we'll definitely keep tabs on the situation as it continues to unravel. But in the meantime, we thank you for your thoughts, uh, Mr. Chinedu Ubidikwe, a re lawmaker representing Anambra East and West. Thank you for your thoughts on News Across Nigeria. We are not happy at all. And this part of the world, in Nigeria, we are not a happy people. Hunger is setting in. Our people are from December this year. The, there's no livestock in those areas. Thousands of people have been evacuated from that. There's no livestock, there's no well, food. We are facing another dilemma. Well, I'm sure they come to our aid. Well, I'm sure the authorities involved will definitely, uh, they, I'm sure they've heard and they will definitely take a, a look into the situation. We well, thank you so much once again.